As we move through coding and data science and specifically the applications that can be used, there's one that stands out for me more than almost anything else, and that's Tableau and Tableau Public. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these are visualization programs. The idea here is that when you have data, the most important thing you can do is to first look and see what you have and work with it from there. And in fact, I'm convinced that for many organizations, Tableau might be all that they really need. It will give them the level of insight that they need to work constructively with data. So let's take a quick look by going to tableau.com. Now there are a few different versions of Tableau. Right here we have Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server, and these are the paid versions of Tableau. They actually cost a lot of money unless you work for a nonprofit organization, in which case you can get them for free, which is a beautiful thing. What we're usually looking for, however, is not this paid version, but we're looking for something called Tableau Public. And if you come in here and go to products, and we've got these three paid ones, come over here to Tableau Public. When we click on that, it brings us to this page. It's public.tableau.com. And this is the one that has what we want. It's a free version of Tableau with one major caveat. You don't save files locally to your computer, which is why I didn't give you a file to open. Instead, it saves them to the web in a public form. So if you're willing to trade privacy, you can get an immensely powerful application for data visualization. That's a catch for a lot of people, which is why people are willing to pay a lot of money for the desktop version. And again, if you work for a nonprofit, you can get the desktop version for free. But I'm going to show you how things work in Tableau Public. So that's something that you can work with personally. The first thing you want to do is you want to download it. And so you put in your email address, you download, it's going to know what you're on. It's a pretty big download. And once it's downloaded, you can install it and open up the application. And here I am in Tableau Public right here. This is the blank version. By the way, you also need to create an account with Tableau in order to save your stuff online and to see it. We'll show you what that looks like. But you're presented with a blank thing right here. And the first thing you need to do is you need to bring in some data. I'm going to bring in an Excel file. Now, if you've downloaded the files for the course, you'll see that there's this one right here, DSO322 Tableau Public dot xlsx it's a excel file and in fact it's the one that i used in talking about spreadsheets in the first video in this course i'm going to select that one and i'm going to open it and a lot of programs don't like bringing in excel because it's got all the worksheets and all the weirdness in it this one works better with it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the tidy data by the way you see that it put them in alphabetical order here and i'm going to take tiny data i'm just going to drag it over to let it know that it's the one that I want. And now what it does is it shows me a version of the data set, along with things that you can do here. You can rename it, you can, I like you can create bin groups. There's a lot of things that you can do here. I'm gonna do something very, very quick with this particular one. Now, I've got the data set right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a worksheet. That's where you actually create stuff. Cancel that and go to worksheet one. Okay, this is a drag and drop interface. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the bits and pieces of information we want to make graphics. There's immense flexibility here. I'm gonna show you two very basic ones. I'm gonna look at the sales of my fictional ballpark items. So I'm gonna grab sales right here. And I'm going to put that as the field that we're going to measure. Okay, and you see it put it down right here. And this is our total sales. We're going to break it down by item and by time. So let me take item right here. And you can drag it over here or I can put it right up here into rows. Those will be my rows and that's how many we've sold total of each of the items. Fine, that's really easy. And then let's take date and we'll put that here in columns to spread it across. Now by default, it's doing it by year. I don't want to do that. I only have three months of data. And so what I can do is I can click right here 
and I can choose a different time frame. I can go to quarter, but that's not going to help because I only have one quarter's worth of data. That's three months. I'm going to come down to week. Actually, let me go to day. If I do day, you see it gets enormously complicated, so that's no good. So I'm going to back up to week. And I've got a lot of numbers there, but what I want is a graph. And so to get that, I'm going to come over here and click on this and tell it that I want a graph. And so we're seeing the information, except it lost item. So I'm going to bring an item and I'm going to put it back up into this graph to say this is a row for the data. And now I've got rows for sales by week for each of my items. That's great. I want to break it down one more by putting in the site, the place that it sold. And so I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to put it right over here. And now you see I've got it broken down by the item that is sold and the different sites. And I'm going to color the sites. And all I got to do to that is I'm going to grab site and drag it onto color. Now I've got two different colors for my sites. And this makes it a lot easier to tell what's going on. And in fact, there's some other cool stuff you can do. One of the things I'm going to do is I can come over here to analytics. And I can tell it, for instance, to put an average line through everything. So I'll just drag this over here and say, now we have the average for each line. That's good. And I can even do forecasting. Let me get a little bit of a forecast right here. I'll drag this on. And if you go over here, I can get this out of the way for a second. Now I have a forecast for the next few weeks. And that's a really convenient, quick and easy thing. And again, for some organizations, that might be all that they really need. And so what I'm showing you here is the absolute basic operation of Tableau, which allows you to do an incredible range of visualizations and manipulate the data and create interactive dashboards. There's so much to it. And we'll show that in another course. But for right now, I want to show you one last thing about Tableau Public. And that is saving the files. So now when I come here and save it, It's going to ask me to sign into Tableau Public. Now I sign in. And it asks me how I want to save this. Same name as the video. There we go. And I'm going to hit save. And then that opens up a web browser. And since I'm already logged into my account, see, here's my account, my profile. Here's the page that I created. And it's got everything I need there. I'm going to edit just a few details. I'm going to say, for instance, I'm going to leave its name like that. I could put more of a description in there if I wanted. I can allow people to download the workbook and its data. I'm going to leave that there so you can download it if you need to. If I had more than one tab, I would do this thing that says show the different sheets as tabs. Hit save. And there's my data set. And also, it's published online and people can now find it. And so what you have here is an incredible tool for creating interactive visualizations. You can create them with drop down menus and you can rearrange things and you can make an entire dashboard. It's a fabulous way of presenting information. And as I said before, I think that for some organizations, this may be as much as they need to get really good, useful information out of their data. And so I strongly recommend that you take some time to explore with Tableau, either the paid desktop version or the public version, and see what you can do to get some really compelling and insightful visualizations out of your work in data science.